Something that happens to me sometimes is I'll be rolling with a big strong guy, I have them in my clothes guard, and they'll put pressure on me, they'll tripod and try to smash me. So I have some things that I do to counter that. This is something I've dealt with um, quite a bit over the years. Usually when I go to a new school and it's a big and strong guy that I haven't rolled with before, or someone new comes in, um, usually with those kinds of guys, one of the things I do if I'm playing guard is I like to put them in closed guard because I'm an old school closed guard guy. So I'm gonna show two different parts. The first part is how to really pressure when someone smashes you like that. And the second part is the counter that I do. So we'll go ahead and start. So the first part is I have the guy closed guard here. Okay, and he's gonna go ahead and put his arm around my neck and he's gonna smash me from here. Okay, so from here, what I need to do is get my hooks in. So I'll push him away from my legs if I need to, I'll swing my hips out, get one hook in, and get the other hook in. Once I have both the hooks in, I can push them back a little bit, okay? So that is the, the first thing that I do. So go back. So I'll start from this angle here. Okay, and again, this is something that I learned from watching um, Luis Heredia. He's a Hickson black belt. Back in 2000, he did a seminar at the school I was at, and there's this really big guy that was uh, in the seminar. I watched him roll and the guy outweighed Luis by a lot. And I noticed he liked to use these hooks. And ever since I saw that, it's something that I've been using. So again, the guy has to be, or have a closed guard. Okay, he goes ahead and he goes to squash me. I'm gonna push my legs away. If I have problems getting my hook in, I'm gonna switch jump out on one side and that makes it easy to get my hook in. And the other side, and here, I push away with his on his legs, and it helps make pressure. Let's do it. All right, so that's the first thing you want to learn, is you want to learn how to use your legs, your hooks, to push them away, and it helps relieve pressure on you. And since your legs are the strongest part of your body, um, it works really well against really big guys. So the second thing that I do, on this side, is I want to counter him. Okay, so after I um, release pressure, I'm gonna counter him by sweeping him. And basically what I'm gonna do is just an elevator sweep. So, go ahead from here. It's coming from here. The guy lifts his leg up, lifts his leg up, put one leg down, okay? And I'm just gonna elevator sweep that way. So that's, that's commonly what's done on the ground. I'm gonna do the same thing standing. So all I'm gonna do is trap one side, push the leg out, and sweep. So go ahead, close guard here. You got the closed guard, he's tripoding. Uh, I push away. I can also relieve pressure by grabbing his arm here and pulling down. So my elbows up and pull down. And then I swing my legs in. Okay, so both my legs in. Once I have both my legs in, I'm going to push out this leg and trap the arm on this side around my head. So I can trap it by either grabbing his bicep or grabbing behind my head. From here, I put my foot on his leg, I push it away, and I elevate the other side. Okay? So from this angle, I'm a closed guard. He's smashing me. I put my legs in. Here. I push his leg out. And I sleep on Alright, so that's usually what I do when the guy has his arm around my neck. But usually because I know the guy's gonna try to do that, I preemptively um, trap his arm. So this is more common. So I have a close guard, we're rolling, and I'm gonna wrap his arm here. I've trapped. This is also something good for self-defense. And from here, the guy tripods. Okay, so again, do the same thing. Okay, I already have his arm trapped. Push his leg out and I sweep him. Let's try it one more time for this angle. Here. So here, I swim, trap his arm, he tripods, swim the leg out, swim the leg out, push him away a bit. This foot goes on his, his leg here, I push away, and then I sweep him. Okay, and that is how I counter Someone to try to smash me in clothes guard.